your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. Well, our forecast for today was pretty much on track. We saw showers and thunderstorms out there. Much of that activity this evening has diminished. In fact, there isn't much left on radar at all. I do want to talk to you about this, though. It is an aerial flood warning that's in effect for parts of Houston and Dale County. There was one thunderstorm cell a little bit earlier on that dumped a lot of heavy rain in a short period of time. So we're talking about spots south of Echo, north of Blackwood here. Doppler radar estimating two to three inches of rain may have fallen in a period of three hours or less. So if you're in this spot tonight and you're planning on driving, just keep in mind there could be some minor street and creek flooding this evening. That water should recede as the night goes on. Some healthy rainfall totals, but really hit or miss. There were popcorn showers and thunderstorms that we saw out there today. Across western Coffee County, one cell that also kind of sat over the same area and you're up. One to two inches of rain picked up there. Luckily, no flooding concerns with that cell. Here's a bigger picture. You can see our radar tonight. Showers and thunderstorms have all but ended. The culprit for the active weather is this cold front that has slowly been working its way through the wire grass. And I think as the evening progresses, it'll move offshore, meaning our shower and thunderstorm chances will come to an end. And also, it's going to be less humid by tomorrow morning. Temperatures right now pretty variable depending on if you've seen rain or not. It is 84 degrees in Dothan, 81 right now in Geneva. Florala is checking in at 82. It's 87 in Troy, one of the drier spots, and 80 in Abbeville across the panhandle. Temperatures there largely in the upper 80s and close to the low 90s. Heading out for dinner tonight, here's what to expect. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible now through the next hour or so. Severe weather threat is very, very low. After about 7, we're done with the rain. We're partly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow morning, we wake up mostly clear at 7 a.m., 73 degrees, but it's going to feel almost refreshing outside. The cold front is taking with it some of the extra heat and humidity. So by tomorrow morning, skies are clear. We're at 3 o'clock now. It's clear out for the most part. There could be a couple of clouds around, but I do think we're mostly clear into our Tuesday afternoon. No pop up showers or thunderstorms. Remember, there's not a lot of moisture left over in our atmosphere. Once we get beyond Wednesday, then we start to see some southerly flow returning. So our daily sea breeze shower and thunderstorm chances will start to pick back up about 20 to 30 percent each day. And if you've been following the forecast for a couple of days, we've been talking a lot about a plume of tropical moisture off the Gulf Coast. The latest forecast data has that plume moving over central and into southern Florida for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe beyond, dumping anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain. So some big time flooding concerns there. The question is, what happens after Friday? There are some indications that that plume of tropical moisture could start to move in our direction. We'll keep an eye on it, but boy, if you're traveling south, keep in mind, flooding is going to be a real threat, especially near the Tampa Bay area. Our forecast shows daily afternoon shower and thunderstorm chances, except tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the drier day. And then notice on Sunday and Monday, I've increased our Rain chances to account for the possibility of some tropical moisture, they'll start to be moving in.